I would like to uh, talk about what Plan B has been for me. Uh, having participated, having been one of the five initiators back in uh, September 2015, having been there in November 2015 in Paris, uh, where our uh, summit was um, uh, annulled due to the murderous attacks in the city, having been there in January where the meeting was resumed in Paris and having also been there in Madrid and having been among those who planned the Madrid initiative as a follow-up to the Paris initiative. The plan B is all about defending democracy, restoring popular sovereignty and using all tools available and creating tools which were not available. There is a bright future for this initiative which is closely linked not only to the sense of sovereignty, popular sovereignty, uh, not only to social movements but also to a sense of a political duty to construe a plan to refute any future extortion, to refute any kind of economic aggression such as the one effectuated against Greece in 2015, against Cyprus in 2013, and uh, unfortunately um, against future um, uh, people who will be asked to subject themselves to this new economic and political totalitarianism which is reigning Europe. I would say, therefore, that it is very important to maintain this forum. It is very important to continue to talk about the ways, the strategies, the plans through which we will refute and um, abolish the plans to subordinate European societies. Um, it is very important to talk about the sovereign right of the people not to pay illegal, odious and unsustainable debts. It's very important to talk about new forms of transactions and new monetary modalities in order to overcome what has been a monetary and bank aggression. Banks at this point are being used in the way that tanks were used in previous periods against populations. It is our obligation to continue fighting for democracy. It is our obligation to continue to bridge minor differences. And it's definitely our obligation to show that subordination and uh, uh, capitulation is no alternative for the left. It's no alternative for the people of Europe. It's no alternative for us.